So what's this guy want? Despair, Gek Trader, Power Low, Give Isotope. Uh, carbon. I don't have any carbon. All right, let's go grab some. Let's go grab some carbon. This game really does need like a. Ooh, wait, hold on. What the hell is this? Oh, more aluminum. I don't necessarily mind more uh, aluminum. There's callium. Have yet to actually figure out if callium's useful for anything. I have yet to find a recipe that specifically calls for it. It seems like if I want to pick up callium, I I go on a toxic planet. I should figure out where I specifically get um, that other one. Okay, well it doesn't matter. Let's see. So the trader eyes the facility exit door sadly, as if it is if it had been stuck there for a while. It reaches down with its beak and dejectedly pecks at its suit's power cells and life support system. Looks run down. The lack of charge means it's ill-equipped for the planetary conditions and predators that rage outside. Okay. So we get stamina enhancement too. Uh, we need more heridium, which I, which I just sold off, and more plutonium, which I don't really have much of. Yeah, whatever. Let's see if I can get another Gek word while I'm here. Okay, new word. Okay, and we get the Gek word for share. So somebody was asking about the um. The infinite language glitch. I might not be able to do it. We'll see. So... What I can do is request fuel. Is he gonna give me carbon? Yeah, he gives me a ton of carbon. So we talk to him again, which... It's 20 to talk to him every single time. 20 carbon every time. But, uh... Now I can request a new word. So it's not even a glitch. It's ultimately like anybody has access to this. But I talk to him again. And I'm going to be able to request fuel. It alternates. Yeah. And I'm past the best friend state on these guys. So I can, I can effectively milk this guy for the entirety of the Gek language if I desire it. It'll just take a while. This is probably something I'm going to be uh, doing on the PC version. But right now, meh. Okay, so what else have we got around here? Uh, looks like we got a bunch of specials. Wow, we got a ton of specials around here, and I don't see anything else except for that. So is there a ship here? No. I got some things to grab. Uh, let's see. Okay, we already know that one. Is this live? What, would I just be streaming my YouTube footage? That'd be funny, actually. I've, I've heard of people doing that in the past. Okay. See, so we've got... We've got a ton of Callium. If I want it. It's weird that it just goes rolling like that. And we can get more zinc and platinum and a couple of things. Still would like to figure out where toxic pods could be got along the way. Also looks like there's a ton of debris on this planet. But still, okay. Already know that one. Probably gonna have to rearmor myself. I guess I could build another one of those um, radiation shields, uh, but we'll do that in a second. Might as well check for whatever recipes I can get along the way. I don't think that's the. I don't think that's actually the. This is the. God damn it. 
I had it, and then I didn't have it, and that's okay. There's a lot of stuff around here, I'll give it that. Like, we are... we are finding things constantly. I really should probably find some more inho inhospitable worlds to spend some time on. Especially because we need to do things. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, it is here. Uh... It's one of these. We want radiation. It's just iron and carbon, too, which is kind of handy. Oh, we got a shielding charm. Good. Or a shielding whatever. Okay. So it's a storm, and we've got night radiation. Goody! Uh, that's fine. I've got a... I've got that radiation shield, which... I mean, is burning out fast. It looks like I can get two of them. But still. Okay, is my inventory full? Totally. Oh, more aluminum. I should really figure out if I need any more aluminum or if I can just get totally get rid of it. We also need to see if I can find a crash ship while I'm here. Oh, it's like a angry cow critter. Well, let's head back to the ship. There's only 11 species on this planet. Well, don't care that much. I've also got my zinc. It's gonna take a while. What's, what's the arch? Nothing, actually. Okay. Doing okay. A little bit of damage. Not a big deal. And there does look like there's a ship there. Oh, that's okay. He's already gone. Let's just hang out in here for a second. Uh... So what do I want to do? I mean, we can quick blitz for my spaceship. Oh, right. Wasn't there, like, one of those hackable beacon things? Here? Oh, yeah, there it is on the far side. Also, there's some giant-ass space worm whale things. Floating around. I'll have to take a look at one of those in a second. Okay. Uh, so let's charge this back up with a shielding shard, seeing as we don't have anything else to do with that. Let's get the bypass ship. I want to see if I can find a... Um, I want to see if I can get a transmission. If I can fix up a ship from this planet. Might be a bit of work, but probably worth it. Let's see. Don't forget I can summon my ship to that landing pad. Beacon detected. You mean that empty-ass beacon right over there? Alright, well that's meaningless. Uh, I guess let's grab some plutonium. I think I'll ignore the aluminum for the time being. I haven't really found a use for it in a while. Like, I think the only time I'm gonna need aluminum... Fuck you. Oh. The only time I'm going to need aluminum is when I get another multi-tool. And to be fair, there's a lot of multi-tools to get along the way. But I haven't found one in a while. Part of it is like we haven't been spending a whole lot of time exploring around here. Okay, let's grab the Callium. Let's see. Be really funny if we got a walker to show up here, but I don't think I really want to deal with that. Okay, so let's just go back to the ship for the time being. There's two beacons. Go trigger them for fun. Actually, one of those beacons, looking at it now, is one of the uh, beacons out on one of the other planets. Okay, so let's go back to the ship. Let's go back to this, get rid of that. Guess I could have sold some things back there, but I also don't care, this planet sucks. I think this one has some moons. Is that a moon or a planet? I also can't tell. Hard to discover this. I guess we could also just leave. Let's do that. Okay, so. 
we've got another thing. I guess, yeah. Let's see, is that just a... Let's see, how far do we have to go on this one? Not really telling me. Okay. Can I warp this far? Can. Can I warp this far? Too far. Okay, one more then. Oh, that's okay. We'll stop at the space station and let's see if there's an anomaly. Uh, scan the flying snakes and call it something funny. I, I coulda. I coulda. But I don't think. Eh. Like, the problem with the flying snakes is ultimately they just. They're gonna be out of reach and kind of a pain to. pain to get my hands on. And this way, I'll just I'll just fly around and do what I want. And ultimately, there's always going to be more flying snakes on any planet I ever go to. Just saying. Oh, uh, hey! Speaking of space anomaly. <laughs> my wife's gonna have fun naming all the stuff I scan. Oh yeah, I got a ton. I got a ton of it, ton of little critters for her to scan along the way. She's going to be so happy. Let's see, can I make electron vapor? Can I make antimatter with that? The answer is no. I need I need iridium. Which I got rid of. I guess I should have held on to that, but whatever. Okay. So let's see if I can get a um Let's see if I can get my hands on an Atlas Pass 2. Because that's kind of what I need. I hope I don't have to have multiple uh, Atlas Passes. Like, it would be really nice if I could have just taken Atlas Pass 1. And bring it in. Okay. So let's talk to this guy. I think I'm going to go for another black hole. We seem to be able to scan uh, Atlas... Uh, Atlas is wherever we want. Okay. Shortcut to the center. Thank you. And then Specialist Polo. Let's see. So, wealth data. Most units accrued, level 5 or above. Oh, I absolutely have that. My fear that Polo would seize my units is proof unfounded. Instead, they stare briefly at it. Homing bolt adapter already. Son of a bitch! All right, let's take a look at this one. Uh, it's worse than what I got. It looks kind of neat, but it's is not good. It's actually not that much worse off than what I've got, but still. I wonder is is it somehow shaped like the gun? It almost feels like it's somehow shaped like the gun, but I don't think that's actually the case. Okay, whatever. Uh, and there doesn't look like there's anything else for me to interact with up here. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Well, I guess let's go on to the, uh, the Atlas interface and go from there. Because we've got a black hole nearby. I'll have to figure out where. Yeah, 30 slot gun. Yeesh. Yeah, ideally I'd like to find a, um, find a gun with that many uh that many slots but it's going to take a little while before we get there I'm actually getting tired. This game makes me sleepy, which I don't necessarily mind, but it would be uh it is it is one of those where I'm kind of hoping for a little bit of luck. Like, I really want to get another ship to fix up. That's always fun. Varieties is the spice of life. And, yeah, I miss Big Blue just because Big Blue looked really cool. Um, But, like, I I really don't want to do more... Uh, I don't want to do more interstellar day trading unless I have to. And, I mean, if I can find something that's particularly... um, Like, if I can find something that's particularly abusable... 
uh, then we're all good. It's just a matter of like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Every time I go into a station, I don't know how popular it's going to be. And, um, and how financially abusable it is along the way. Okay. So what you got? As we learn the language, it's I'm kind of appreciating the fact that I'm figuring the language out. He wants oxide. I think I have plenty. Rare oxide. 200 titanium. Okay, I kind of want to do that. Actually, don't I have a ton of titanium somewhere? I'm three short. Funny joke. It needs to be a hundred slash ship. It needs to be absurdly rare and very painful to get and hard to find. Yeah, I feel like this game needs chain quests or quests in general. So power reservoir, titanium, chromium, and terramin. I don't know, guys. We might have just found our next uh, space for interstellar day trading. I'm hearing some ships coming in and out too. If we can find one that sells uh, Terramin or Crolium, we might actually be in a really good spot. Uh, however, I'm not going to buy Titanium from the station, but I can probably buy it from one of these guys. Okay. So... Aquasphere... Buys Chris Knight for a fair amount. And Viking effigies, but honestly, what we want to do is get it from elsewhere. Let's see about you. But yeah, if we can find a source of Crolium or Terramin, uh, we could make stupid money. However, not looking so good so far. Like, the dynamic resonators weren't so great. Well, I should have 200 titanium exact. There we go. Yeah, let's go see what we can get. But, like, I, I feel like, um, I feel like this game, I love the resource generation system, but it pisses me off that you can't, like, build a ship or whatever. Um, like, what, I, what I'd like to be able to do is collect the resources to just switch out my engines with the superior one. Instead of getting, like, a little module that kind of increase, uh, improves it. Um, and, like, I can trade stuff in. He just fucking scammed me. He just farted nice, nice smells at me. And... Ugh. Okay. Learned the Gek word for work shy. I don't know, guys. I know this one's probably, um... Probably abusable. I'll stick around for a bit. Let's see if we can do some interstellar day trading. But it's feeling pretty, uh... Pretty meh here. We'll see if I can pick up some more iridium over here. Not from you. And that's probably identical. Sadly, it only seems like the same two ships coming in. I should probably figure out how big this one is. Because if this one's huge, I might actually go for it. Because it looks quite nice. Okay. Yeah, because I wouldn't mind doing Capitalism Ho. But... Still. Okay, so what's this one? 26 slots is worse than what I've got. Ooh. Ooh, look at this guy. Um. Gross? You got a little something on your face there, guy. Okay. Let's see. So what does he sell? It doesn't sell anything particularly useful, so it doesn't look like we're going to be... It doesn't look like we're going to be 
capitalism capitaliziming this area and it's blue it looks nice it's garbage we'll keep going eventually I'll find a space station that I can abuse go from there if I haven't seen a gold poster that his PC was broken yes I know I saw is sad okay I'm not even gonna go down to the planet um, so now we also have a black hole that I can reach. It's kind of a fair ways away. That's going to be number five. Let's go to the Atlas first, though, just because Atlas is a little bit more impo important. Oh, oh, shit. I was going to increase my inventory size on that last station. I totally forgot. Well, I also don't care. Yeah, so we'll, we'll hit the Atlas interface, then we'll hit the, uh, the black hole. See what I can get into. They sent me a key for chicken, of all things. Jesus. Why? That game is so freaking creepy looking. Uh, every once in a while I get a game and I'm like, I don't wanna. I don't wanna at all. Well, let's see. Let's see if I go immediately inside this Atlas interface. Okay, no, we didn't. We didn't glitch into this one. Let's see if it's a if it's a different uh, spheroid thing. Because every single Atlas interface I've been into has had a different sphere. This one is no different, actually. Wait, this one's a person? Three people. Oh, dude, it's the new Kojima game. Also, I'm noticing with every Atlas interface I go to. There's a ton more knowledge bits. Like, I think they're directly rewarding me. Which is cool, actually. I, re I really like this. Like, it's kind of a, a neat... Uh, We'll go take a look at that shortly, but it's kind of a neat, like, reward mechanism built into the game. That every Atlas interface is, like, tons and tons of words and stuff. Uh, it is 97 degrees outside and humid today. And I want nothing... Nothing to do with it. It is not much better inside, either. This is cool. Yeah, so I feel like it, it, uh, all of these technically have a word associated with it. It's just if you already know it, it doesn't tell you anything. And then the pathway down the center teaches you text that you haven't learned yet. It's cool. I still do wish that there was a better way for players to get their hands on, um, uh, like a better way for players to get their hands on on cooler techs. Like, I'm actually really surprised at how few techs there are in this game. And, you know, I always assumed that there gonna be a ton. Or you just find them instead of building them. Well, one way or another, we're going to be... We're going to be fluent in, uh, Corvax right now. That's cool. I don't know, I just... I like running over these little bubble things. It's like bubble wrap for me. With extra failure attached for whatever reason. Okay, one way or another. Let's go check out this horror creature thing. Oh, they're not giving me warp cells anymore. Shield boost theta, already known. Health module tau. Okay. That's cool. And these don't teach me anything, those are just lights. Okay. So let's take a look at this one, seeing as it's horrifying. When I dream, I see the atlas. When I see the atlas, I'm a, I am the dream. I see the sentinels swarm about their creator, but they are directionless and uncontrolled. A threat. They cloud the truth, and the galaxy becomes unclear. As 
if through an unreal lens. To know reality, I must pass through it and see what lies on the far side. I must be guided. I offer myself to the interface. I seek the precision that only it, the Atlas can provide. Kepler! Okay, I've become the Harbinger, the Pathfinder, the Seeker of Ways. Through me, the universe will know itself. And another Atlas Stone. Neat. So, question is, I really wish I knew... Oh, I'm on Magellan right now. I'm presuming I have enough milestones. We'll have to probably do Undaunted at some point. Zoology, I don't think I'm ever going to work on, though. That bit kind of sucks. Uh, Scrapper. Scrapper might be hard. Sentinels would probably be pretty easy to work on. Envoy, maybe? I mean, really, I need to find a, another planet that's, like, fun and easy to explore, and I haven't found one of those in a while. Because there's some really good ones. Like, um... I don't know, whatever. Okay. So I guess let's head for this. I'm getting scatterbrained just because I'm thinking about stuff. I don't know. Like... I don't know, I, I guess there's like really cool planets and there are some really shitty ones. I guess part of it is I need to, um, I need to get my hands on, uh, or not get my hands on, I just need to go. Uh, so what I might do is just start pursuing, uh, black holes really aggressively. I kind of wish I could see, like, a progress meter for how far I am from the center of the universe. Just so I could get a, a better idea of it. Because it's kind of this vague thing right now and I don't really have a, um... It's a vague thing right now, and I don't really have, like, a, a solid, uh, a solid concept of, like, distance here. You know, how long is it going to be before I get to the center? Is it even worth my time? I'm also always a little bit disappointed that there's nothing else over here all the time. Also, just wish you could, uh, you couldn't interact with things... Like, I like the, how the suit thing always, um, the suit thing always scales up, so you can always get another inventory mod module. Oh, there is a distance from the center. Okay, I'll have to check that. Um, but like, we, you know, we keep finding these blueprints, but it's like, you already know this one. And it's like, it'd be really nice if it came, a, came with an upgrade for that blueprint. Like, that'd actually be really cool in a way. Okay. So, he needs oxides. Do I have oxides? I need more titanium. Well, let's see what uh let's see what it buys. Let's sell the callium. The gek. Okay, it buys suspension fluids, aronium, but aronium's garbage, and this place sucks. Okay, so we're gonna buy heridium. Fair amount of heridium from this. I think I need 40, to be precise, and I also need titanium. 50. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to get anything cool out of this place, but that's fine. Learned 30 Corvax words, I can still barely understand them. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised at how many words there are. They, you'd think they could almost simplify it a little bit. But... No. Oh, that's okay. What is this ship? It looks like the space food truck. Oh, it's one of those, like... No, what? The hell kind of setup is this? That is one fat shit. That one's kind of cool looking. I really wish you could sell ships. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised for a game that has such a heavy monetary, like, limiter on things. They don't have easier ways to make money. 
Okay, so Viking daggers, but that's not super useful. Uh, titanium. Nice thing is, worst comes to worst, I just buy this stuff and sell it back for largely the same price. Like, it's actually kind of hard to lose money in this game. Okay, that should be all the... All the heridium I need. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like this weird bug TIE fighter thing. Just think about how many words there are in the human language. I just realized I don't care about that ship. I just want to see how much this sucker costs. Though realistically, there's no cool there's no cool trading to be done around here, so I'm probably just gonna leave anyway. Uh yeah, it's worse than what I've got. How much was it? Oh, I could actually check my um my OBS is slightly out of sync. Well, it's fine. I can also check it on my own at the same speed. 4.3 million. Wasn't Big Blue 3.8? Fly Fighter. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. What's the dagger for? It's just a trade good. Sadly, like, everything in this game is just a trade good. Which kind of sucks. Oh, I needed 50 Heridium per. Oh, and I was going to go back and give that... I was going to give the guy the titanium, and apparently you need a ton more heridium. Okay, that's fine. Wait, that's my ship. What? Why is my ship already here? Watch this be some kind of weird dupe bug situation. Is this somebody? Is this somebody? No. Oh, this is interesting. It didn't clear my ship from the cache. Oh, and now I'm inside of it. That's really freaky. Oh wait, there it is. Engineering Entity Tarot. It's like totally, totally identical. To my ship. I wonder if that's a bug. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, let's just buy all of their Heridium. If I've got 40 right now, I'm gonna need 60 more. Ooh, this thing looks kind of okay. A little bit long-necked. Still cool. I I love the uh, Corvax because they actually do have a really similar hel helmet design to mine. It's I mean it means nothing, but it's still cool. But yeah, this sucker is huge. This place sucks for trading though. What's this only high? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Look at this thing. Freaking 37 slots. But 23 million. So, yeah, this, this would be an awesome ship that I'd totally love to have. It's also a ship that will take forever to farm for. So, I want nothing to do with it. Oh, wow, that is a stupid-looking ship. Fuck, I forgot to give the guy the titanium! Ah! 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 <laughs> I just want to leave. I want to go to the black hole. <laughs> I really don't remember shit at all. <sighs> I'm also really tired. <sighs> Went to bed at like 3 a.m. yesterday, woke up at 6, no, 5.30. Went back to sleep, got up at 8. I'm a tired man. But I figured easier to start. Can I talk to this guy? There we go. Uh, I figured it would be easier for me to do, do a day stream than a night stream. Okay, rare oxides in the vault. And there we go. Ooh! 
New technology, so more fire shields. Wait, why am I trading with this thing? It's meaningless. And we already got the thing on the other side, so let's let's actually get out of here. Get the exosuit upgrade. Oh, this is the weird duck ship. Okay, I seeing as we're here, how much does this goddamn rust bucket cost? Thirty-six slots. This stupid thing is almost as good as that, like, long neck swan. Ah. I really wish you could, like, um, sell ships. Like, it'd be really cool if you could almost merchant them. Okay, so we already did get the EXO upgrade. Better to... Better to double check than to leave again without remembering. Fucking hairdryer thing. Ooh. This looks almost identical to one of those original uh one of my original ships. I'm gonna forget to be taught the language. Yeah. Yeah, so interesting thing about the ship ships in this game, they I think they're actually kind of procedurally generated based around your own. Uh because I'm only really finding upgrades here. And, like, I would have been hard-pressed to find a 31-slot ship back in the day, but now it's all, like, all over the place. Yeah, but, like, I don't I don't like the fact that you ditch your ship on a planet or a station when you get a new one. Yeah, like, it should offset the cost of the ship you're buying. Like, this is, this is why I'm probably just... Gonna go and try and find more, um... This is why I'm probably just gonna try and find more cra crashed ships. Uh, cause realistically, yeah, you could actually get up to a hundred slot ship in this game. All you have to do is just get a big ship yourself and it actually just slowly scales up. It's actually really cool. Uh, that that's, that's the case. It's just so goddamn time-consuming that I'd, I'd honestly want to turn on a cheat code and not think about it again.